Okay, so we got a cool update. An inside look at the ping system in Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is introducing the highly requested ping system into the game. We are adding this quality of life feature because we are dedicated to improving players' experience and including the community in our development strategy. Let's dive into the inspiration, goals, and overview of the Overwatch 2 ping system. By the way, quick editor's note. And by editors, I mean the viewer note. Everyone complained about the live stream and said it was boring. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't that special. But this is what they call communication. I know you play Overwatch and don't know what communication is, but this is what it's like. So take it with a smile. Thank you. This is the end of your editor's note. The inspiration behind the ping system came from a value of the Overwatch team holds dearly. Every voice matters. Okay. This is a core value at Blizzard and the Overwatch team wanted to person personify this value in our game. We wanted to create a system that would enhance voice communication as well as provide alternative ways to share information with your team. This is very important. Says system designer Gavin Winter. One of our goals was to augment speech and give people a way to smile visually interpret video voice communication we also wanted to support all voices and create a system to communicate for players that would prefer to avoid voice chat so what does this mean the whole point of this and i've talked about this in the past but let's do it again people always talk about being in voice in overwatch being in voice is so important listening to calls etc don't get me wrong i kind of agree communication is very important in overwatch however though just like in every competitive game, there's a lot of dog shit that goes in there. There's a lot of people that just don't know how to communicate properly. They overcom, they undercom, they're toxic. They just talk about fucking what food they're having. Like, it, like the voice chat system isn't good. Like it, like you very rarely actually are getting value out of it. You get that Winston player who's calling that they just used bash in the back line. Like, like their brig just was in their back line repositioning and you use bash and like they use bash they, okay they're gonna have it for four seconds anyways like what are you what are you talking about this does is it makes it so those players on your team who don't want to communicate or don't want to talk or calm can also provide input this is very important because if somebody's flanking or something's happening you can also provide ways to path and to talk about things that are happening in game more information is positive part of how the ping system enhances communication is by adding context to what you already hear in voice chat with the press of the button, you'll activate a contextual ping depending on where you're aiming at within your lining site. For example, if you're playing Tracer and you ping the enemy Reaper, your teammates will hear your Tracer call out that Reaper's location. Principal designer Adam Poole explains it's a much more it's a more accurate, clear, and rep understandable way of communicating rather than hearing someone yell Reaper behind or Reaper Reaper Reaper. Bingo. This is this is this is what they call self awareness. Poole was an, an incredibly adamant about looking into the community for guidance on how to create contextual pings that were functional for the players with reaper sometimes you can he see him and sometimes you can't when you ping a reaper who's in your line of sight the hero you're playing will call out his location however when he breaks line of sight your ping will show his last known location some of reaper's abilities like shadow step and wraith form will cause your ping to show his last known location. That's very good because it doesn't track them through the walls, which is a good thing. And two, it's this first fire. part. It even happens in GM, like let's go left, right? Like, like for example, this is the perfect scenario. You're fighting on Hanamura second, you're on attack, you're up on the catwalk and you go Reaper left on point. If your Ryan is on point looking at the choke because there's people at the choke fighting back, like, you know, let's say like, you know, it's just a, it's a shit show and there's people behind him. The Reinhardt's left is actually your right. So he looks left and the Reaper comes in from the side. You get what I'm saying? Like there's those split second commis communications because the map has now flipped that this solves, which is very good for all players. Winter explains how you can expect this look in game. A ping can be stuck to a hero while they're visible, and the ping shows the last known location when they aren't visible. The ping changes depending on the hero's abilities. Sombra's Translocator, Doomfist Meteor Strike, Mortar's Fade, and Tracer's Recall are all examples of abilities that will cause the ping to fall off. 
This was designed to specifically fit with Overwatch's fast-paced gameplay. Beautiful. Alerting your teammates to your enemy's locations or last known locations are only a few of the things you'll be able to convey with the new ping system. Holding down the ping button will open a wheel that allows you to get your teammates, tell your teammates while they're attacking, defending, need more help, and more. There are also a unique set of interactions for responding to a teammate's ping. Using the communication wheel to tell your team to group up or I need healing will now activate a ping on top of your hero. Your teammates can respond to your ping, letting you know that they are with you, or they can group up with you or your team's support heroes. I'm very nervous that there's a lot of fucking wheels. Okay, like, there's the spray wheel, communications wheel, ping wheel, like, is there a way to, like, you know, make sure it's not too many wheels, but... We'll be iterating on the system as more data comes in from testing. We want to create an evolving system that's right fit for gameplay and culture of Overwatch. We're hoping that the system will help with toxicity in-game, says Winter. Fair. If you don't like a person pinging so much, you have the option to turn the ping system off through a block or squelch for that specific person. We do have heavy spam protection right now that we are open to adjusting, but we want to see what this works best for the community. It is important to remember that the ping system is a work in progress. We'll include many different teams in the development process, and we are always interested in hearing what works for the players and what we can see in the future. We can't wait to show you more about the future of Overwatch 2 PvP soon. I'm definitely a little bit worried, because look at this ping wheel. Go, yes, ready, no. Like, isn't there already a ping, uh, like a wheel in Overwatch 1? Like, we need to just condense some of these. Like, spray wheel? Sure, keep it separate. To be honest with you, I don't even know if we need a spray wheel. Maybe one spray. I honestly think that one spray is fine. Like, like how many games do you have multiple sprays for? I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on that, but be just be careful with having so many wheels. Cause like, if there's three different wheels to say the word yes, like, like one of them is the voice line yes versus the ping yes versus the group on me yes. Like, do they all do the same things? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be uh, regardless though. One. We got more communication, which is good. Two, we saw what the ping looks like. So this is what appears to be the wheel. And uh, yeah, we got some communication. Good stuff. Excited to see it. We got, as of today, 33 days to go. Oh, further news. Further news is actually a secondary update. Secondary update. We got multiple updates. Let's go. So here's what's in store for the Path to Pro 2022. So Overwatch Contenders. We're just a few weeks away from the 2022 Overwatch League season, which will feature Overwatch 2 PvP gameplay, a new hero in Sojourn, the push game mode, and new maps. And guess what? The excitement won't be continued, won't be contained to just the Overwatch League. Overwatch Contenders is returning soon, and we're excited to share some preliminary details with the community. As with the Overwatch League, all global contenders competition will take place on an early build of Overwatch 2 PvP. We'll see this transition as a prime opportunity to open up the ecosystem, and we want to give players a chance to compete with enabling both returning and new players to participate. The goal of contenders has always been accessibility and highlighting up and coming talent. So in 2022, we're pushing closed league play, or sorry, we're putting closed league play on hold and making all contenders tournaments shorter with open registration formats like single and double elimination. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, hang on. What did that just... Wait a minute. Hold on. I need to reread that. So in 2022, we're putting closed league play on hold and making all contenders tournaments shorter with an with open registration formats like single and a double elimination. We hope that the open access registration strategy we've laid out in 2022 will be a solid first step in the ecosystem. Wait, does this mean like anyone can sign up to play? Wait, 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 wait. Wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Are we getting the squad together? <laughs> Wait a minute. So how are you supposed to sign up? Wait a minute. Hold the, hold the fuck up. This wait a minute. This is much bigger than you think it is. If this is open registry, how what it, you have to have Overwatch 2 though to be able to do that. Is that hinting that there will be an open beta very shortly after the closed beta? Your other details, top performing contenders teams for the 2021 season will be invited directly to the first event of the year. We will host our first contenders tournaments after the first Overwatch 2 PvP beta period concludes. I, I think I'm onto something on this one. Events will be held 
in the same five regions as the 2021 North America, Europe, China, South Korea, and Australia, and New Zealand. The total prize pool for 2022 contenders will remain at 1.3 million. By the way, I just wanted to let y'all you know, know I I I called the beta date a month in advance, or not a month, whenever we got the first announcement, to a literal day. I got this. I picked the day. I think that there's going to be an open beta after the closed beta, so it's going to be closed beta. We have to sign up to get in. Beta for what, like a month? They shut it down, make a bunch of updates, fix a bunch of shit. Boom. He's a clap. Exciting to see. Exciting to see. Contenders is now going to be playing on Overwatch 2 as well. So those Contenders players, duh, don't kind of worry about it.